from the project. So there's a few pages of it here. It exposes a lot of flaws and it exposes your sloppy work. And I'm talking right to you. It's so cold. I should probably get a mirror at home. Good morning, what's up? Today's a special day. You might say, why? Why is today a special day? Let me tell you. Today is a special day because, well, we're doing inventory control. Also known as cycle counting. I think that's what Cisco used to call it. Basically what we're doing is verifying every single listed item on eBay today. And then we're gonna figure out a way to cross-reference that over to Poshmark. You might say, well, what do you mean? What are you actually talking about? See all this stuff behind? And all that stuff over there? And the coat racks? That's all of our listed inventory on eBay and uh, cross-listed on Poshmark. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ed Dean and alongside with my beautiful wife, Melinda, we run a six-figure eBay reseller business out of a small warehouse here in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. There were two things that I really wanted to focus on to end the year on. One was eliminating our death piles and we've done a really good job of that. There's only a little bit available uh, or as far as unlisted inventory. We also processed all those garbage bags that, you know, if you look here, all that's gone now. Really the next big step is doing actual verification of, in of our inventory, meaning we need to verify every single SKU and make sure that the SKU is accurate, that the item is exactly what it's supposed to be, that it's listed, and then if it's not listed to correct it. I also need to get all of these items into inventory. These are all items that are returns that I've just been lazy, uh, basically, and not putting them away properly. So they're all listed, but I have to verify all the actual listings and make sure that we have a spot in the inventory system for them. Ali and Emily are here with me today, so we're going to work as a team to get this started. We have six ish hours today to do it uh, i don't know how much we're gonna get done we have over 7400 active listings on ebay so it's gonna take a lot of time but here's the general game plan what we're going to do is basically check every single SKU. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with our inventory system we made a video about it i'll link it up here you can go check that out after this video or pause this video go check it out and come back we're gonna pull up ebay and it's gonna show us all of our SKUs in alphanumeric order and then we're gonna physically cross check every single one to make sure that that's actually what the item is that the SKU location is correct and that it's actually listed out of 7400 listings we already know and this is another video we made you can go check that out as well we know that eBay randomly takes down listings we also know that eBay recently fixed their uh, auto relist issue where if a buyer buy something, puts it on layaway, which is eBay's stupid thing that they haven't fixed yet. Fix it, eBay, you stupid thing. If they don't actually complete the purchase in the past, you would have to automatically relist it. Now that's automatic. We'll see how good that is because we cancel transactions almost every single day. Step one is going to be getting the laptop out here and making sure that everything is working. I can sort all my listings by custom SKU. This is a beautiful way to control your actual inventory. And I mentioned this is a benefit on that inventory control video. Step number two is to educate the team. So walking through them step by step of what we're going to do and then just go for it, right? We're also going to consolidate, meaning, and then again, I've talked about this in the inventory control video. I'll stop saying that now. We will go ahead and consolidate everything too, make uh, more space and uh, go from there. Let's get started. To help the process, I'm going to go ahead and pull all the orders that sold uh, overnight. I did ship a lot of stuff that sold yesterday, yesterday too, to help this case out. Also going to pull those Poshmark orders too. That way we know that obviously those items are sold and we don't have to, you know, stumble upon an item and wonder like, is this even listed? Well, yeah, it's sold. So I'm going to do that real quick. So keep in mind, we have 7,400-ish listings. Well, let me just take a look and uh, get you the exact number. 7,433 active listings. Comment below right now, how many unlisted inventory items do you think we'll find once we're done with this? Not just today, once we're done. So pause the video, comment below. The person who gets closest to how many we actually find unlisted out of all of the 7,433 will win a mystery box sent to you free of charge from us. So comment below, pause now, 
let's see who gets closest to it. We just got started. I think we got a pretty good system going here. So Emily currently is reading off the SKU numbers off of the um, laptop, off of the listed items. And Ali is verifying that those items is that exact thing. So she's saying things like, a38 uh, navy pants and then Ali's pulling it out and verifying that it is something like that so it's not 100% accurate but it'll give us a really good idea the item that you see here is the first error we found this item had the wrong pictures with the right title and description so we're going to pull that out obviously and then end the listing and fix it so good start or well, I think this is like 10 of them in and we already found an error which is good we want to find all the errors and then again, uh, as far as the mystery prize winner, I'm going to post that winner next video. So uh, probably a day or two after this one airs, um, the winner will be announced. No 47. There's no 47. There is a 47. Okay. Okay. So we found another error. So this is a item that doesn't exist uh, on the SKU, but uh, it actually is physically here. So we'll have to investigate what this item is and why it's still in our inventory. We were about... 14 boxes in and we've already found a handful of items not listed found a couple of unlisted items in the return pile as well It's actually quite eye-opening and uh, really exciting. This is like the oldest stuff that we have So we should have the most amount of errors here Hopefully this trend doesn't continue because then we'll have like bins upon bins of unlisted stuff but regardless of the outcome, this is a really good exercise that I encourage you to do with your inventory, with your eBay or reselling store. It has to get done at some period and I wouldn't prolong it uh, as long as we have. Okay. Not listed? Nope, A441 yeah. or A442 either. So we got three in a row not listed. So what Emily's doing here, four in a row, she's writing them down and then we're gonna go in the system and verify and you check. Yes. Black floral. Purpley, yep. Yeah. Yes. It's uh, all money that's just literally sitting there and doing nothing for us. You don't have 444? Nope. You don't have any of these? Nope. 443 or 454 is my next one. I have 444, 445. None of those. None of those. Okay. So we just found another giant chunk of unlisted inventory. So, which one does it start at? Well, they're not. It's a lot of. Yeah, so this is very interesting because it's a whole bunch of them that were listed at one point and now they're all unlisted. So maybe eBay just decided that ah, don't worry about those. We'll just take your listings down. We need to get all these items processed again and listed again because again, if they're not listed, they're not making you any money. I know that sounds obvious, but um, it's. Yeah, it's very it's it's kind of shocking so far. We just finished row A, and uh, I'll show you a little bit of what we found that's unlisted and how much space uh, we found. So as I mentioned, we're also consolidating all the inventory. So the nice thing is that we have um, ten slots available out of A uh, for a couple of reasons. One of them we haven't consolidated in a few weeks, and two we pulled a bunch of unlisted stuff like. These Doc Martens were unlisted. Obviously, that's not a good thing, right? Because these are worth money. We have some polo pants unlisted. We have some Calvin Klein jeans unlisted. Some North Carolina shorts unlisted. Another unlisted that just got thrown at me. Um, and all this stuff. Let's see, there's probably like at least 20 items so far to be found unlisted which is good because we're finding errors, but it's bad because how sloppy we are and uh, obviously a lot of improvements for the new year. So right now we're starting on B. It's been about an hour and a half. This is going to probably take multiple days, so I don't know how this video structure is going to be, but I want to conclude it when we finish all this because I want to know every single mistake that we've made. A quick update, they're towards the end of B and they found an entire slot, like three boxes, over 50 items that are not listed. I have to investigate and figure out why. Uh, I just transferred like 3,400 photos yesterday off of the photography phones onto the computer. They might be in there, so I don't want to raise a huge red flag. I'm going to leave them alone, we have them noted, and then we'll have to figure out what they are and figure out why they're not listed. This is all the stuff that we have found so far unlisted. Let's do a quick count. Five. 
That's 40 so far. So we found 40 uh, not listed and uh, we finished two rows. So uh, could be hundreds at this point. I don't know. So we found another chunk that's not listed. I think in this case, I think it's like 20 pieces and it's not looking good. That's the second one we found. Um, otherwise, everything is going really well. Uh, we're finding the occasional item that's bad. But again, this is the second time we found like a more than 10 in a row not listed which obviously is not a good thing i am going to investigate that one as well um more updates coming as you can see behind they just started on e and the tub is pretty much full i recognize a bunch of this stuff from the old store that we took down um, we just have to figure out where the break was they found another chunk that's not listed towards the end so Hopefully, like I said earlier, there was like 3,500 or so photos that I transferred yesterday. I hope a lot of them is, a lot of those are there. Um, otherwise, we have a few more things to figure out um, before we continue processing more inventory. Starting this adventure of actual inventory control or cycle counting, I really didn't know what the expectations were or what it's all going to look like. We're done for today. Uh, ladies did most of the work. I helped a little bit here and there. They made it all the way through F, as you can see here. This is where we're, you know, we ended for the day. It's four o'clock. Hopefully, both will be back tomorrow. Emily's a maybe tomorrow. Ali for sure is, and then Melinda will be here tomorrow too. We're just going to continue this project. Let me show you how many errors we found so far. These are the two bins that we've pulled out. But I know some of these should be listed, like this Dragon Ball Z, this UPS, like a vintage sweater, this uh, Pendleton right here. All this stuff is from the old store and I know that we re-inventoried, reprocessed them. We just have to figure out why they're not listed. There's also a lot of miscellaneous stuff too. So the first part of this, you know, again, this is a brand new thing that we've never done here at, at the warehouse. The first part is what we're doing now is, all right, is it actually listed? Is it uh, not listed? Is it listed, but it's not actually there? The second part is why, and then figuring out if these are in processing, or if the VAs have the photos, if this work has been assigned, if this has been missed, especially those like clunks or clobs of items, you know, 20 of them in a row, like that's obviously an error somewhere. It just shines a light on all of our failures or all of our mistakes or sloppiness, whatever you want to call them, uh, that we need to button up. And I'm really glad that um, I kind of pulled the trigger today to get started at least. And uh, we'll just have to go from there. Let's take a look at the list of notes. So this is like, the worst one, I think. This one had the wrong picture, so we took the listing down. Not listed, not listed. That's just going to mean that um, the item is physically there. It's just not listed in a store. And then if you see missing, that means that that listing is active, but we don't have that item. So either it's sold or something happened. So there's a decent mixture of both, but mostly it's not listed. Now again, towards the final count of how many items did we find with errors, um, this list is not actually it because a lot of these I hope that we can find like for example these Tommy shorts They just had the wrong skew number in it. So we were able to fix it The C quadruple zero nine. It was just the wrong number. It was C uh, Triple nine. I think it was so we fixed that one this one right here These Taylor jeans were returned that I never re-inventoried properly. So we fixed that one So I'm hoping we can fix a lot of this stuff day two tomorrow I hope that we can wrap it up tomorrow, especially with all four of us potentially being here tomorrow. That would be awesome. And uh, then we can just, you know, continue to clean up the warehouse, continue to just kind of do all the things that we just haven't had the time or energy to do because it's just been so hectic setting it up and getting it going and all of that good stuff. I really, really, really want to start 2023 in a place that you know we're really well off and just ready to have the best year ever right we want to set ourselves up to have the best year ever and go from there until tomorrow i'll see you then all right day two of inventory counting day and it's nighttime and unfortunately someone broke into our house this morning forced themselves into our home gratefully thankfully everybody's safe um, no one was harmed I don't want to go into a lot of details. Uh, five o'clock in the morning, someone decided to break through physically through our 
main front door. Uh, everybody's all right, a little shook up, it happens. Uh, fortunately, uh, Ali and Emily were here today, uh, continuing to work, so let's go see where they're at, or what they've done, or something like that. They are all the way done up to uh, I up there, which is pretty good because T is all brand new, so I'm not gonna do T. So we're almost done on this side. And then we still have this side to do, plus the stuff that's racked, plus the SAS shoes and the Red Wing shoes over there. That's all new inventory that we need to get on racks uh, ASAP. Unfortunately, we got more and more stuff that's unlisted here. So it looks like we have three total tubs again. Some of this stuff uh, was actually listed like that UPS sweater I mentioned yesterday. So this is day two of this vlog. There'll be a day three, unfortunately, because of what happened earlier. Um, that jacket or that sweater was actually listed by Melinda today. So there's going to be a decent amount of stuff in here that um, is actually good. It just hasn't been listed. It's still in processing or in drafts. So that's okay. Anyways, I'm going to keep it short. It's been a really long day, as you can imagine. Um, Holding someone at gunpoint first thing in the morning is not a great way to start the day, but life goes on. And like I said, fortunately, everybody's good. I had the, uh, the training and confidence to um, hold the person at gunpoint until uh, cops came and took him out uh, or removed him from the premise. It's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to take some time to process and, and all that good stuff. Um, but life goes on and... We just got approved, uh, so like 50 minutes ago, we got approval for the app. So on uh, Apple, the flipped app has been officially approved. So very happy about that. My day has been full of emotion. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. It's been a few days since uh, the last cut that you just saw, and the project is now done. So shout out to our staff for kicking butt and getting this stuff done. Mostly unsupervised as we were dealing with other lifestyle Light, bleh, life stuff outside of work. Let's talk through a bit of the results and the next steps and why you should be doing this on somewhat of a frequent basis. As you can see here, these are the tubs of all of the items that we pulled because they were not listed at the time and we wanted to verify why they're not listed. The next step now is to sort through here and figure out which items actually are now listed because it's been about a week since the last cut of this video or the last segment of this video. And also figure out which one of these items are in the draft section. Now, some of these items, as you can see here, are really old, meaning they're early in the alphabet, early in the number system, meaning that they shouldn't or aren't in the draft cycle or shouldn't be at least, but we'll still double check. On the other hand, you see some of these later numbers like the late B's, late C's, late R's. Those are newer and they could be in the drafts or recently listed as we are listing 60 per day. I assume a good amount of these are actually going to be in the draft section or recently this listed. So I'm going to go ahead and filter through that now and see what I get afterwards. And then we'll talk about the results and some of the whys. And again, some encouragement for you guys to do this. Let me show you how I'm verifying if these exist. So we utilize the custom SKUs bar in eBay and it makes things a lot easier. These are all of our active listings. So you just go down to manage active listings. So out of 7,700, I just go to listings, active. And then here I just click on custom SKU, contains, and I type in the SKU number, which you can see here. And this one is not in SKU. Hey, someone paid $100 for something. That's exciting. Some boots. Since that's not there, I'm going to go over to my drafts and I'm just going to go ahead and control F to find because there's no search ability here in the drafts and there's no results for B907. So I'm just going to put this to the side and most likely this one just has not been drafted yet. But again, because it's a late number, it should be and it's not a mistake. Just sorted through these. These five in here are not drafted, not listed. So they're somewhere in that before drafting phase. These four, however, are drafted, three drafted, whoop, three drafted, and one is listed. So I can just go ahead and put these back in their spot. Top number two, all of these were fixed by our staff. So they had some sort of error in this queue. I just verified all of them in location for sale. I can put these back. This bin, not so good. All of this stuff, including a bunch of Birkenstocks and uh, some new attack stuff and some puffer jackets, not listed, not actively listed based off of the SKU number, 
one is so this one can go back into inventory these cannot i'm not just going to stop there though i am actually going to look these up one more time based off of title and description just to make sure there was no error in the SKU, right because if one is labeled f131 let's say it's a pair of american eagle jeans or something like that if I made a mistake and put in an extra zero or a dot or a period or missing a letter or missing a number from that SKU, it's not going to show up in that search. So I'm going to do one more level of checking before I say, yeah, these are not listed at all. Verified this entire tub is not listed. Look them up by um, certain features, brand name, styles, colors, all that good stuff. None of this is listed, so that's going to go in the need to list pile. Still going to try to identify any of the late numbers to see if maybe they're still in the draft phase somewhere. One more tub to go through here and this one to go through here. I will definitely let you guys know in the next video after this one how many items were actually left for whatever reason not listed. Um, which brings us up to the next category which is even more exciting. The ones that we say we have but we don't have. Let's take a look at Emily's notes. Here are all the notes from the project. So there's a few pages of it here. The ones that I just went through are the ones that are not listed, right? That's pretty straightforward. So that's the SKU number. It's not listed, but it's actually there. However, there are some like P292 that says that it's missing. So let's go look up P292 in the system. So this is all of our listed items and we're just going to go to custom SKU and P00292. Now, it says that we have two items here, not one, but two P292s, and she's saying the Nike one does not exist. So let's go look at P292. For obvious reasons, this is a problem. We're advertising at our store, eBay is just kind of like a store, right? That we have something for sale, but we don't actually have it for sale. That's a problem. So let's pull 292 which will be up here one second so we got all the p's p90 p91 p92 and there's only one p92 which is the white pants there is no nike polo she's absolutely right so most likely what ended up happening in this one is that it's sold on poshmark and we never took it down so let's verify poshmark real quick well this is odd it's listed on poshmark for sale i just verified it but however the issue is that the R looks like a P. So this actually exists in R292. So let's go verify that. Just imagine that headache. You sell that item, you go to look at P292, and it's not there, right? So R292, we're up on the second level. It's not here. You know why it's not here? Because it's in one of the boxes or bins that I just went through. I just saw it. And that means I need to find it out of that bin and double check it. So these types of errors are just sloppiness. That's all it is. It's simple. It's sloppy. And this is why we're doing this so we can fix our mistakes. It's right here. It should be in here. Yeah, look at that. R292. I'm going to go put it back where it belongs and we can cross this one off the list as fixed. That's one down, one fixed. I wonder how many we're going to find that also have similar issues. There's always a reason. There's always a why. Things aren't just randomly occurring, right? It's our job as business owners to figure out the why and to address it. So that one's done. On to the next. Let's look into P224 and see if that's an R mistake like the last one. It says it's missing. It's a Victoria's Secret satin piece. I found the listing and it doesn't appear to be an R issue. That's clearly a P, so P224. However, when I search for it, there's two listings. So there's a double listing, which is obviously another problem. We're going to go ahead and delete 224 because I just verified that it is an X34, which is, and I was lazy and I didn't put it back in time and now it's causing issue. There it is right here. They're a secret satin piece. So that's all set. Don't mind all this. We're, uh, we're under construction. So don't, don't worry about it. Found more doubles that are addressed and then found a couple more that we just don't have. So got those delisted, obviously. 
Overall, really happy with the performance and really happy with all the finds. Obviously, it just saves us headaches down the line. Now, let's just take a minute and talk about why so many of these were not listed. The first reason is pretty obvious. We did all the work, we got all photos, and then we just never listed them. There's four sweaters in that first bin that I looked at that I know for a fact I just never listed because I recently deleted those photos off of my iPhone, which I took like nine months ago. So that's my bad, right? Just wasting my own time like an idiot. And that's fine. I can label myself those things when I make those stupid mistakes because those mistakes are idiotic. Number two, sloppiness. Let me show you sloppiness. So this bin I still have to go through, but take a look at this uh, beautiful piece right here. Can you see something that's kind of odd on here? So just kind of look at it slowly. Maybe even pause the video and investigate. Do you see something disgusting and yellow and disgusting and yellow around the collar? That's sweat. Gross. That's called sloppy work. That's 100% my fault, no one else's fault. What I failed to do is put in proper quality control procedures and steps before we did all the work of steaming and photographing and drafting. That's my fault. That is 100% the representation of my quality of work, which was poor in 2022, hence so many of these mistakes. Moving forward, we've already implemented a brand new system that's working really well, where we do all of the quality control work before it ever gets to processing. And we'll talk about that in a different video. So that's probably the biggest mistake. The vast majority of these I identified throughout the last six, seven months. And when I looked at the photos, which, you know, is a bad way of doing this. Again, this is why we put in new procedures. I would go ahead and list that Brooks Brothers and then I was looking at the photos, it's like that's, that's disgusting. How did this ever get to the point of photographs? How did we not find this earlier? So that's the vast majority. Finally, number three, eBay sometimes deletes your listings. Hard to tell how many, hard to tell why. We made a video about this a while ago, you can go check that one out too. They delete listings. You have to think of, about eBay. It's kind of a weird thing. If you look at the architecture and the software development and the background of eBay, so let's say they've been around since 95. I don't know when their actual first year was. But since 1995, they've had so many engineers and developers and staff and leaders go through and edit and revise and then update and so on and so forth. And when that happens, stuff just falls through the cracks. So I'm not really upset at eBay. It's, it's like that with every corporation I've worked with. I've worked for one of the largest corporations in the world and it's the same thing. It's sloppy because it's so big and bloated. That's just what happens when you have a giant corporation. It's really hard to run a giant firm without these types of mistakes and errors. Let's just briefly touch on some of the key points of this exercise and again why you should do it. You should find some sort of frequency of doing this for these obvious reasons, right? You're going to have double listings, you're going to have stuff that's sold or you never listed, you're going to have stuff that you made a mistake on. It's really, really important to pay attention to your old work and correct it and then make adjustments. That's that's the biggest reason. Now, are we going to go through every single piece all the time, you know, once a year? Probably not. I didn't really like that part of it. I think we're still in the grand scheme of things pretty small at nearly 8,000 active listings. I think that's a pretty small store still, um, you know, relative to obviously giant corporations and giant stores. I think it will make a lot more sense to do this periodically and um, to do it once a quarter and then just do different sections. So at the end of quarter one, 2023, it might be a good idea to do A through D or A through, I don't know, whatever. That way it's a little bit easier to manage and a lot easier to control than to wait until the end of the year to do all of it. I think the other thing too that I've learned is, is the obvious. It just exposes a lot of flaws and it exposes your sloppy work. And I'm talking right to you because I'm sure you've made these types of mistakes as well. Just because we've made them doesn't mean we can't change and get better and improve our processes and also improve our business. I'm really happy we did this because again, we're saving headache, um, we're saving time and we're saving, uh, you know, pissing off our customers, right? 
nobody likes buying something and then get, getting canceled on. You know, that's not a normal thing and it shouldn't happen. It happens from time to time, but I think eBay is in the right to heavily penalize people that often cancel and remove your top rated seller status. And that status is very important uh, to us and should be very important to you as well if you're trying to make a living doing this. That's going to do it for this one. Uh, not too late now if you want to pause or just go ahead and comment down below how many unlisted items do you think we found in our store? So unlisted items, not total errors, how many unlisted? And you can rewind and take a look at the bins and kind of guesstimate of how many. I'm only going to count the ones that are not listed, not the ones that we have in draft or are about to draft just the unlisted amount. So that's going to be all those ones that are like the early A's, the early D's and so on. Winner gets a mystery box. Uh, see you guys next video. Take care.